Hey, I'm Caleb with Means Wood Shop, and today I'm going to show you how to make these salt and pepper shakers. This is actually a really easy project, and uh, anybody could do this. And I made mine using maple and ebony wood, and it's the first time I used ebony wood, so uh, let's check it out. I've got this piece of maple. I've scribed a line down the center mark. Yes, I do actually have a scribe. I do have some form of hand tool, so they're rarely used. And I also got this piece of ebony which I've also scribed a line on and for the ebony I probably could use the table saw but I decided to get a little, a little treat and get this Porter Cable bandsaw. Naturally I would like to use that. I've never worked with this before. It smells like shit. Oh, it smells like a dead cat's turd. If a dead cat could still poop, that's what it smells like. I'm gonna glue up my box. I got everything resawed. I kept one piece of three quarter inch maple, which is gonna be the inside of the pepper shaker. I cut a three quarter inch piece of ebony for the salt shaker. And its final shape isn't gonna be just rectangular like this. All right, dude, you can calm down. I'm gonna go ahead and glue them up. I'm a little bit sure. I'm a little bit nervous to be honest because uh. I've read that ebony can have some issues when gluing it up. Like I guess it, its natural oil in it can make it just be difficult for glue to adhere to it, but I've seen people do it. I ain't gonna stress it too much. You gotta be big enough clamp. Gosh, it's amazing how much it's, it's sliding around, even with clamping pressure. I've scribed two lines right here and right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make an angle from that scribe line down to a corner. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to drill a hole into these. So I thought maybe the drill bit by itself would work, but uh, whenever I go to make the holes to actually empty it out, I, I figured it'd be hard to line them up with that hole. So I went ahead and went with my other idea. You kind of see here what that looks like. And there's a bigger hole. It's a little off center, but it doesn't matter because that'll be glued on. And you can put the, the spice in there. Damn it. There we go. 
See? There's my salt and pepper shakers all done. I really like the way they came out. The ebony wood is super pretty. If you like this video, please give the thumbs up. Be sure and subscribe to Means Woodshop. I have new project videos every single Friday. I missed the uh, uh, Friday, but uh, that's okay. We'll, we'll get back on track. Uh, one thing I did was I added some little like felt feet to them because the rubber stopper was making them kind of kind of tippy. So thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you next time.